last week on the Glass Cannon Podcast. They're eyeing you all. Very suspiciously. The heroes executed a cunning plan. Talitha, there's no Talitha here. I'm Fenton. Ugh. Sound different. They slashed my throat. This one, the, the cat. And infiltrated the druid stronghold. All right. You can try your luck bringing uh, them to Bolan here to the northeast, but those creatures are nasty in there. I say we just go. If we get yep. a, if a they're chance pointing to us. get out of this room, let's just walk out of this room. Where unnatural dangers lurked. We are in charge here now. We answer only to Bolan, and he won't even talk to us. I am done parlaying with you. But after crushing a nest of chaotic creatures... Ooh, natural 20! Oh, oh, yeah. 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 One! Eh, Le- eh. My god! Ten points of damage. Oh! And that thing falls out of the yeah. sky. Yeah. 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 The hero's cover was blown. You are out of combat. However, from behind, you hear the oak stewards come up. Cucumber was right. It's a trick! The adventure continues. Brother Amos, close the door. Ah, I close the door. Ah. Did he close the door? No. Toasting marshmallows for toasting and caroling out in the snow. There'll be scary ghost stories and tales of the glories of Christmases long, long ago. Okay, take it away. I'm just mad that we didn't celebrate my two months of Halloween. Now we gotta celebrate your four months of Christmas. I wish, I wish that all of the Burr months were Christmas. But uh, no, unfortunately, it started yesterday. Yesterday on November 1st, and uh, man, it's a little weird because we're recording this in August. <laughs> and so I really got a feign. A peek behind the curtain. Talk about I Christmas spirit. Shirt, I am yeah. just, it's on my mind <laughs> right now. He set the lights and we all were like, what the fuck what? is he doing? No, they started to notice, oh no, it's happening. No, Matt, we were like, Matt, change it. It's 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 Troy wasn't in the room. We were like, please, please just do anything else. But now I, I'm getting in the spirit. I'm getting right? in the Right, it kind of, I, 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 I got uh, there it's myself. It's infectious. Yeah. 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 Infected. You just have to remember, have put yourself the, there. The critical fail on, on November her will 2nd save. when everybody feels like it's Christmas. Yeah, oh. when everyone complains about that they're starting celebrating Christmas already. <laughs> yes. Put yourself in that mindset. I have had <laughs> countless uh, emails Emails, handwritten letters, uh, phone calls from uh, Santa, Santa, listeners, uh, listeners, fans of the show, That's... who have said thank you, Troy. Thank you for teaching me the way of starting to celebrate on November first. We'll take questions after the show, um, <laughs> and I say, you know, don't thank me. It's just my way of sharing my joy of something so wonderful with everybody else. But so many people have 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 flocked to my banner to start celebrating on November first, and they've never looked back. Yes, we'll allow time for one question. Okay, so what are you going to do when technically the date that this is airing is past Christmas? 
So when we're recording gonna, episodes, when it's actually Christmas, when it's baby. actually Christmas, but it's going to air after Christmas. Why are you ridiculous? You're going to talk say about it. We're actually recording this on. How's December that going to make you? I normally don't lift the veil and say when we're recording these, but I couldn't help but make. I had to make sure that another November first, second, third didn't go by, and I didn't start on the show because they're watching this right now on November second. Be like, why isn't Troy mentioning it? Well, I'm mentioning it, but you bring up a very interesting question. We will be recording episodes in November at and the December. Height, you're going to have. To of the season, restrain right. yourself. He's not going to. He's and not it's going, going to. We're going to end up Day. talking about Christmas shit for five months out of the fucking year. <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> also, by the way, even if you weren't dripping with bullshit through that whole diatribe about people flocking to your banner and what have you, <laughs> I, I'm I knew, not lying. You would know it was a lie just for the fact that you took a phone call. I've never seen you take a phone call in your life. Well, they texted first to say what they wanted to talk about, and I said, "Here's my here's my personal <laughs> here's my personal number. <laughs> Let's discuss. If all you want to talk about is Christmas, you can call me. I'm in. Oh my personal line uh it is weird though uh, because i no one no one is bigger christmas guy than me but august even august is a little early <laughs> however <laughs> i got just a little i got to right where those marshmallows were toasting and i started to feel it in my penis i felt the christmas spirit rolling up in my sensation do you ever feel it down there that's where i feel it right just the old as, chestnuts just yeah. as baby jesus intended it yep that's yeah. how he he's not a part of christmas it's about something bigger than that <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's about something bigger than jesus <laughs> Alienated it's a lot of people. It's about the Beatles. It's about the Beatles. It's about Ringo Starr. Oh, there we go. Oh, you really show me the meaning of Christmas. <laughs> Christmas, is, <laughs> Christmas is bigger than Jesus. <laughs> oh, my mouth hurts. <laughs> uh, no, but uh, hopefully you at home are enjoying the season as I have. And if you're on the fence and you think, oh, I can't start November 1st, I already started on October 15th. I told myself I would and I did, but I'm not going to subject everyone here uh, to it until November 1st or late or August. <laughs> like, I feel like you got to celebrate your birthday first. I, that's true. I, like I haven't even done fantasy drafts yet, and I'm already talking about uh, Christmas. But uh, it's it's the best time of the year. I mean, Kate, you said that you start celebrating Halloween on September first. Oh no 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 no! Like early August, as soon as I go in the Home Goods and they've got ghost shit out, mm -hmm. it's Halloween season. Yeah. So I already have Halloween stuff up. I when mean, go ahead. I was going to say we are recording this in August, as you said, and I just had a friend reach out to me to make some props for their Halloween party because they're doing like a big themed party, and I was like. How long? It's oh, but then I had the same thought where I was like, "Oh, I got to start now." You only have two months. I got to think about what I'm going to be. Yeah. Was this gotta, like a pro bono sort of thing, or no, was no, your friend he, like, he's "Here's what me. I'm going to pay you"? Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. I'm I don't making, like people taking advantage of your talent. I'm making um, bombs from Fallout for it, like these like old little nuke bombs from Fallout. Did It'll you Google fun. how to make bombs? <laughs> <laughs> Did you Google how to that? make nukes? <laughs> how to like, make real <laughs> bombs? I'm already on to that. make I'm real bomb with my I'm job for a party bombs. full of people with my job <laughs> my day job where i do production design for a tv show you guys know the show i work on is like murder reenactment mm -hmm. i'm on so many lists i'm googling like i bet dissolving a body in hyaluronic <laughs> acid in a, in a tub like how do, what ingredients do you need because i need it for the episode i need yeah. to make like fake stuff uh so i'm i'm not allowed to google anything on my work computer Clarifying question. <laughs> what kind of acid was that? It's not hyaluronic. It's something else. Because hyaluronic is good for your skin. Yes. Is it doesn't melt thing? skin. Hydro hydrochloric? Hydrochloric? Yes. yes. Hydrochloric. Yeah, hydrochloric would make a corpse look beautiful. Yeah, it's like, wow. <laughs> what a moisturized cadaver. <laughs> hydrochloric acid on this <laughs> beautiful <laughs> corpse. Uh, well, I said to my wife the other day, I'm like, because I was never a big Halloween guy until I had kids. And now I'm like back into it. I'm like, let's do it. I got the I got lawn decorations now, blow up Ooh. shit. Yeah, we don't we don't fuck around. And so I said, Can we can we start on September first? And she's like, No. No, no, that's too early. I'm like, uh, all right, here's my offer. Take it or leave it. September 15th. And she has settled on September 25th. And I said, let me tell you, it's too late. September 25th is too <laughs> late. You get them out there and then I'm already taking them down and putting up Santa. What's your decor like? Because you don't live very close to your neighbors. So right? What do you do? I have neighbors around, um, but I like ghosts and bats. Okay. And skeletons. I'm not really into pumpkins. I'm also very into gnomes. But that's less Halloween. Not and really more just Halloween. like an all the time ghost decoration. Bats, spiders, and no. But I've got like ghost like... pillows, bat blanket. Oh, I've got like a. Um, I've got interior stuff, and then I have um, exterior stuff. I've got like these bat things you stick in your lawn. Um, you have ghost gnomes? <gasps> no, but I would love one. Like if there's a ghost gnome. Googling, Googling, or Googling. Or a bat gnome. I bet Sydney could, uh, <laughs> I, for the low, low price oh. of uh, her going rate, she might oh, be able yeah. to. 
Oh, are you kidding me? These are the cutest little guys I've ever seen. Guys, oh, no, ghost gnome. Oh, oh my god, they're really cute. Look at them. Oh. They look like Miyazaki characters. See, they're like so this cute. is the best holiday because oh. the decorations are so freaking. Well, it's already over, Kate. Get over it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's Christmas now. Halloween is passed. <laughs> it's Christmas now. Shut up. Now it's <laughs> 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 Get yourself an elf on the Shut shelf. Up. Season's Shut greetings. Up. Shut up. <laughs> it is weird though. We've already now come back from Chicago and St. Louis. We had our our Halloween shows. They in were the amazing. Mm -hmm. and yes. I imagine they were fun. Standing ovations. Yeah, crazy. We sold them both out. I hate talking about the future. It freaks me out. <laughs> it's weird. Would right? you just stop? What if we don't come home from St. Louis? Well, yeah. you, what the That's hell? what I'm saying. That's where my mind goes. To. That's Why what I'm saying. Say that? My mind went there as well. <laughs> what? Because oh. I've been sitting next to him too long. I get infected. This I'm is the scariest Christmas ever. <laughs> <laughs> I like that Kate's like, we did really well. The show went great. Joe's like, what if we don't come home? <laughs> Manifest right. Right. what you want, dude. Yeah. I want to live in St. Louis forever. We've got to stop booking the same flights. We can never Seems fly. Seems like a great city. Well, we he always flies United, the same so. Something goes wrong. Never going to happen. You guys are ruining Christmas. Worst Christmas ever. <laughs> Speaking of Christmas, are yeah. you, Troy, yes. uh, obviously we're, we're way ahead, but are you first time doing ever. anything different this Christmas? Like, is there anything that you're planning to what do is wrong with you? different, or do you only do things you've already done? Well, because I know you're a big tradition guy. I'm a big tradition guy. So does anything new ever enter into Oh, yeah, this? every year it's new. All right, so what's this year? Well, last year we added a bunch of new things. We've been doing the Polar Express now for a few years. Yeah. We buy those you tickets. You know, we talked about doing that. Oh, in, in Whippany, New Jersey? Yeah. And uh, Aaron was like, you got to reach out to Troy. I was like, yes, I do. We already bought tickets, but we buy them in June. You have to buy Not them well, in June. Is what I heard. All right. I'll uh, see you next year. But I, we were going to reach out, and I said, Joe and Aaron don't want to hang out with us, so <laughs> don't bother. Uh, just half of that is true. But yeah, no, we We're will. just work friends. <laughs> <laughs> we're just work friends. Uh, but yeah, we do the Polar Express in Whippany, New Jersey. It's like out of this world. It's yeah. so wonderful. And and, uh, but last year we started adding more things because, you know, we had a couple COVID years in there and now it's like, let's get back out there. There are these light shows. There's a couple that you can drive in your car and they're fantastic. And one we went to last year, you drive through this whole thing and then there is a giant snow globe with Santa inside of it. And he'll trapped. point. He's trapped. He's banging on the <laughs> But he's all mic'd up. And so like Archer's oh, no. looking out of the sunroof and he goes, hello there. I like your hat and described the hat. So it's just wow. like the kids are like, ah, <laughs> uh, it's amazing. So we did that. But then we did it's another up, one. So you can hear him say, please, the air. It's running out. <laughs> Let me out. Let me Call out. the police. Call the police immediately. Tell my wife I love her. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> we did another one last year where we had to walk, and I can't remember the names of the cities, but we had to walk through this whole amazing light display, and uh, we just keep adding shit every year. But uh, I think we're going to add the uh, the Christmas cards that you guys do. Yeah. Because you okay. swear by those. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm seeing them up a lot more, and I know you're going to oh, make it's amazing. reservations way in advance. Yeah. yeah. It's like with, with Santa and the elves, and it's... Pretty spectacular. Have you ever seen Joe's family Christmas? I cards? haven't. They're I've very never, sweet. I've actually and never gotten one. The thing I was most amazed by was the the COVID year where Santa was masked, and then yes. they, they digitally removed the mask. They digitally removed the mask, and like That's face tuned fun. a smile on him. Like this is like. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was, like a witch it was smile. shockingly effective. Yeah, it was really good. They did a great job. That's very sweet. Uh. Yeah, so I mean, we're always looking for new things. For me, from November 1st to uh, December 24th, it's like how much Christmas can I cram into every single day? That yeah. is my thing. So it's we'll have times where it's like, yeah. all right, what are we doing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday? So, like I try to look at that and plan in advance, but then there's some days I'm like, we have nothing planned today. Let's start a new tradition. So we're at the point now where in those 55 days they're they're pretty jammed and then it's like can we do three things today because we have seven things planned tomorrow <laughs> i just love it so much and even talking about it now in the dead of summer well you were talking before about um how you like to do really dangerous things at the top of a ladder near the roof of your house i do and so you would throw up if you saw what yeah I do. so i was thinking if you're up there anyway I think you need to be, you know, the, you're a big Christmas guy. You should be the guy that does the full Santa and reindeer display yeah. on the roof. On the roof. Oh. You need to do like, 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 like where it's like rolling down from the chimney. Well, we have a 20 foot Santa on our lawn. Not that's, enough. That's Anybody a, can do that. That's I just feel I can like put a Santa excuse. on a lawn. Right, but I feel like Santa. you can't have two Santas. That's weird. Yeah, I would ditch the, I would do like a full like diorama, yes. like theatrical Here's display. What I, where they're like maybe starting liftoff. Yeah. So Nativity like you don't display. see really thin, clear. Sydney could make them for you. I can make it for you. Na Nativity display, but with Santa Claus in place of baby Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Like or a baby Santa. Baby yeah, Santa. Baby Santa with a beard. Or, or just do like Paul 
Paul, John, Ringo, and George in the nativity display, since we all know the truth. <laughs> you big. could you could have some fun with it. you. Could have the three wise men skiing off your roof. Yes, that'd yeah. be fun. No, I I'm, that might be tacky. Little, that might be tacky. The twenty foot Santa isn't tacky. No, have you seen it? Yes, it's wonderful, <laughs> and the kids love it. So, and I love it. But I'm just a little surprised. I love it more than the kids. I thought you were more than an amateur, and you haven't done How a full you. diorama I'm just, display. I'm just going to say. I think people's Halloween decors lean more towards theatrical and that's why they're so fun. Like one time I saw, driving through Jersey, I saw a huge table on someone's lawn and I was like, the Last Supper? No, no, no. Tons of skeletons at the table fun. eating another skeleton <laughs> who was being cooked in a giant pot by a giant, like one of those 20 foot tall skeletons. And he was like holding it into the pot, cooking it. And it was a whole scene. There was so much happening and there was like dogs in it. There was all this stuff. So you got to translate that to Christmas. Yeah. We've been on a waiting list for those skeletons. Oh, are you actually? Years. Yeah. They sold out everywhere. Home They're Depot's like $300 out of them. One of my favorite things is I was walking through Carroll Gardens and I saw someone with one of those, not a giant blow up Santa, but a giant blow up, like 20, 30 foot, like black and orange demon, like kneeling with orange glowing eyes. And I was just like, had teeth. And for, it took up, it took Christmas? up like the whole, no, no, oh, for yeah. Halloween. For Christmas. <laughs> Christmas demon. <laughs> Talking about Halloween like, decorations. Krampus, Krampus yes. Krampus. A nice Krampus decoration. But like, yeah. <laughs> you could do Santa's falling off the roof. Whoa. Yeah, holding onto the gutter. Holding onto the gutter. Yeah. We, yeah. we have a neighbor that does that. It's kind of oh, fun. But it. I have to explain like, that's a blow up because it, it, it looks real and the kids get nervous. Um, <laughs> it is a fine line between overdoing Christmas and underdoing it. And that's why I just try to do 13 things a day, every <laughs> single day between November 1st and December 24th. Would you like assistance seeing the line? Just look behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Very distantly overdo behind it. Distant, distantly behind you. <laughs> Live your life and overdo it. That's Except for when you stomp all over Halloween. That's our motto. And uh, we'll be right back for another hour and a half of talking about Christmas. <laughs> So let me tell you some new traditions we're starting. this. No, we're going to go into the show here. Uh, the show that is sponsored by Demiplane, Foundry Virtual Tabletop, and Norse Foundry Skid. What do we know about Norse Foundry? Norse Foundry, you talk about the makers of these beautiful dice that are, for my money, the best at generating random numbers. You know what they make? <laughs> Great Christmas gifts. Yeah. Griffs? Uh, griffs? Did I say griffs? Is it a griff? That's some is sort of monster. Yeah, These called... things aren't worth $140. I have a 20-foot Christmas griff on my own. <laughs> One of our sponsors, a grifter? I did. I did. Dude, these aren't worth $140. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bought money a, for a rock. Bought it from some grifter. Right. Oh, no it's a rock. <laughs> Just rock. Just grab a rock and write some numbers on it. You don't have to pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> no. Shout out to our sponsors. Uh, <laughs> I could talk about Christmas forever, but we'll do that for the next eight, eight episodes. In the meantime, we're doing back-to-back <laughs> combats. Dude. Roll for initiative. No, no breaks. Wait, actually, we're just going right, right Oh, wait, so we're re-rolling initiative. This is very important. Yes. You made this choice. Just want to let you know. Yeah. Troy. That's okay. Yes. I am currently- Is this Christmas related? Yes. I love because it. I find your, t your take on Christmas sickening even to me. Uh, Talitha is sickened. Gross. Uh, is there a time limit on that, or do I have to spend the action to retch? Here's what I'll do. I'm going to give you a free retch since there was a moment between this combat and the next. You don't get a free retch. There's a moment? Oh, uh, uh, one wait, wait, problem wait, wait, at a time here. One on. action each? Uh, Hold on. Wait, wait. Ooh. He might ruin it for you. You just reminded me, though. You just reminded me. <laughs> I did my double slice, uh -huh. and I killed the final guy. Uh-huh. I have one more action. Ah! 
out. Ah. You're making a new round, but I have a, a remaining action in the previous <sighs> round. You guys are really ruining this. Interact <laughs> action. <laughs> you guys are really Interact ruining Interact this. action. I All close, right. I close the door. No. Stop yeah. Are you are you gonna <laughs> Yeah Listen, if you beat initiative, you're welcome to close the door, and I'm sure they'll be like I still All right, have let's let them go. I well, still on. have one more action. You're the kind of GM that would take actions away from players just this on a win. It's ridiculous. Had you thought of that in the moment, I would You ended the session! I did end the session. It was the cliffhangy. You cliffed it. You are not you can close the door at the beginning of the round, and then they'll come up and not gonna be like, is there an encounter in there? This is egregious. Excuse me, Mr. Encounter. Troy, we understand you're a little embarrassed. You you went Cliffy a little early. I didn't Cliffy a little (laughs) early. It happens to a lot of GMs, Troy. You Cliffied early. You made a mess everywhere. Let me close the door. (laughs) Here's the thing. You have to think. That's what's all over these trees. (laughs) I knew it. (laughs) Let me ask you this. I hate to waste time on this, but what do you think closing the door would do? Buy us Give us time. To move away. And it would take away a whole round of attacks from them. A whole round of attacks from them. Okay. Well, you're going to get to close the door at the beginning of the round, but you don't think you're going to avoid combat, right? You don't think you can be like, ah, ah, Maybe. ah." We're we're bottlenecked right now. Hey, what's going on over there? One of my favorite, I know you're a Wet Hot American Summer fan. One of my favorite (laughs) jokes in that movie is the guy's running away from the guy on the motorcycle. (laughs) He's literally just running. And the guy's chasing him with a motorcycle. (laughs) And they just keep showing him not able to catch him. (laughs) And then he gets to a barrel of hay, a, a little thing of hay in the middle of the road. And the guy is running, looks behind him and is like, ah, and jumps over this like one foot barrel of hay. And the guy with the motorcycle screeches to a halt at it. And it's just like, God. <laughs> and he could just drive around. And then he gets right? away. Yeah. And he's just like, I, there's nothing I could do. He got away. It's just such a good joke. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to win initiative and you can use an action to close the door if you'd like. And then they'll, we'll see what All happens. I got to win an ish. Wait, what is you, oh, before I finish talking to you about your retching, what do you want to do? With close this? the door. Stop it. You gave <laughs> an action. Can I have one action? Door. Boop. <laughs> Oh, you know what? You can no longer retch. Roll for initiative. Oh, you ruined it for Matthew. I hope you're happy, both of you. Oh, because I followed the rules. Well, I think you are uh, well within your rights to demand your third action from the previous episode. <laughs> However, I otherwise wanna, I'll just go ahead and cross my initiative. Oh. <laughs> so did I. Joe's initiative is brought to you by North Foundry. <laughs> <laughs> guys are ruining the holidays. <laughs> Talitha, what'd you roll? So fired up. I roll. I rolled. I. Uh, 11. Eleven. No, sorry, ten. <laughs> with sickened. <laughs> See, it didn't have to be that way. Lucky, the ruiner. Twenty-four, natty nineteen. Twenty-four. Oh. You're, spoiler alert: you're gonna get to close the door. <laughs> Brother Ramius. Twenty-six. Oh my goodness, what natty nineteen. Oh, whoa. And, and then you can close it harder. <laughs> uh, Buggles. Uh, Sixteen. For Sixteen Buggles. for Buggles. Zephyr. Nine again. Nine again. Yep. <clears throat> All right, we will begin the encounter. <laughs> it goes Brother Ramius and then Lucky. Brother Ramius, what would you like to do? Hoopoo! Close the door. Not bar it. Oh, I was going to do that. <laughs> All right. Now let's brace it with all the all the crap around All the here. debris. Isn't it fun? You close the door, you can't see him anymore. Uh, uh, yep. Oh, yeah, look at that. Cool. I wonder what they're doing back there. Uh, Brother Ramius <laughs> will uh, close the door. And then he will fall back deeper into the room. Is this like difficult terrain or anything? There's junk everywhere, but it's nope. not mechanically difficult terrain. Nope. Okay. Uh, he is going to fall back behind Z- or right next to Zephyr. Actually, she was far enough away that that means he couldn't do that. Yeah. All right. So he'll move up uh, to the ba- near the base of the trunk of the tree right next to Zephyr. And then... Ooh, let's juice up Zephyr a little bit. (laughs) Um, He's going to be like, when they come through the door, put it through their eyes. And he's going to touch your bow and cast magic weapon on your bow. uh, Making making your longbow a plus one striking longbow. Badass. Okay, plus one striking. So there we go. Plus one striking. Actually, he can't do that. I apologize. Totally... Yeah, I forgot. It's two actions to do that, and I had to move up to you. So, uh, yeah, so he'll give you guidance. You could leave the door open and cast that. Yeah, I'm going to close the door, go back, and give you guidance. Hope it was worth it. Look at all these wasted door actions. (laughs) Lucky, do you want to close it harder? Because it's your turn. No. Can I take a five foot step and uh, delay? Or I have to. um, I'm just going to delay. Okay. You can take a five foot step and ready. No, I I just want to delay. 
delay, huh? Guess you were stymied by my whole door thing I did. My, whole, <laughs> uh, my entire plan was to close the door, yeah. and it's closed. I'm delayed. And you've run out of creativity. <laughs> run out of ideas. Or Only the best could, here at the GC. I had one thing. Keep, can you like hold the door closed? <laughs> Hold the door. Do you want me to, to do that? I don't Hold know. the well, door. Well, I figure I'm the front line. As soon as they open the door, I'm there and I will attack them. I have an idea. What's your idea? Buggles, it's your turn. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Buggles. So, Buggles, he lost, like, his aura recedes. This other sort of presence in him fades from his eyes. He stupefied one. Uh, he is like just kind of like a little dizzy and uh, out of out of sorts. He's gonna try to cast shield on himself, but he has to make a flat check. Okay, he does. So boom, he casts shield and he takes a step backwards, like closer to the tree trunk supporting the roof of this room. Okay, very interesting. So you're all kind of like buffing and bracing and buffing. falling back and bracing. Oh, this is fun. And then right at the door is standing Lucky with two blades. Oh, they're so dead, dude. They're okay, dead. interesting. They're big dead. Well, big this is going to be fun. Um, certain things may or may not happen behind the door, and it's Talitha's turn. Oh, God. Oh, are they taking their turn to cast Shillelagh behind the door? Yeah, yep. that's smart. <laughs> I retch. You retch. You should have done that between rounds. <laughs> <laughs> Just... <laughs> Natural four. Oh, oh no. what's the ret roll? What do you got to get? It's a fortitude save against the DC of the original DC. Oh, the original DC of the effect. Okay. Uh, I will retch again. Retch again. It's a one action retch. Yeah. Okay. That's going to be a. It was a natural sixteen for an eighteen. All right. You are no longer sick, and you have one action left. Okay. I will uh, pop a vial and put a mutagen together. Okay. You start going <laughs> to work. Now is not the time for chemistry experiments. <laughs> Sephir, it's your turn. However, you and Joe gave a knowing glance towards each other that I didn't care for, and I'd like to know what that's all about. <laughs> Would well. you consider um, the fact that we had to roll initiative again that it is a new encounter or maybe the same one? It is a new encounter. I enter monastic archer stance again since the encounter ended in a yeah. split second Changing and started nothing. a Standing new exactly one. Standing exactly like this. <laughs> you mean when you had to re-roll initiative and she to like, start a new encounter? And then Were you going to try and game me into holding monastic? I just think that what? you holding got it so obsessed with us wanting actually, to there wasn't even the a round in between. when she still had an action left and we could have just stayed in initiative and I could have stayed in my stance and you could have retched. She's not wrong. I think it's 100% Sydney's fault. I agree. And you should be mad at Sydney. What? And you should no longer be friends. And I'm going to pit you against each other. It's always people trying to put the girls against each other. And I'm just going to it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Anyway. It's an old playbook, Troy. Get with the, <laughs> with the times. Nice try. Going to the well a little too many times. Use <laughs> one action to enter monastic archer stance. Smart. And then I hold and you at that door. Hold. So, I hold. So then I think you would do two actions to ready. And I think you could ready it. Flurry of blows. Because it's only yeah. one action. It is one action. Okay, so monastic. Because you went into monastic archer stance, you can't delay now. So, like, I think okay. re ready is the yeah. way to go. Yeah, because ready's two actions to use one action. When one of those use your react butt heads your action as walks through the door, yeah. my action is triggered. Okay. It's round two. This is interesting. The whole week, I had no idea that this is how this would <laughs> Yeah. I never it thought about the door. never works out the way. I never no. thought about the door. I didn't really think about it at all. I'm just going into these wondering what's happening, shucking and jiving with you guys, but uh, here we are, just in a buff fest. It's Brother Ramius' turn. I'll delay. Lucky. Delay? <laughs> it's like poker. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Like, honestly, they keep delaying. Just walk away. We're on the right side of this door. We don't need them. Delay myself out of here. Buggles? Uh, oh, wait. Is there a lock on the door? No. Okay. Buggles. Gnomes don't believe in locks. Is <laughs> still... It's against their gnomish creed. Still <laughs> stupefied. He is... And he's going to try to burn the stupefied. So he's going to take his turn to try, try to cast shield again uh, and make it. And, um, yeah, that's his turn. Huge. So next round, he will no longer be stupefied. That's great. Yeah, I, they're I, giving you time to get out of your psychic like uh, hangover, little haze. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's start partying. Let's dance. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, 
the door opens. <laughs> Ow! What? Uh, Zephyr, um, please. Wait, actually, I just realized I messed something up. Uh, the quick tincture, the, the, the tincture is only good until the end of the current turn. So can I retcon my last action? So it would have been useless to, to carry over. Yeah. I yeah, can't, yeah, that's okay, fine. Okay. What would you right. do? The I'll just move. I'm going to move back behind the big tree trunk at the center of the room. That's fine. So you pretty much want to use a tincture as your first action to be able to get the benefits of it in that round. To drink it, yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, Zephyr, please. Fire when ready. Glory blows fire when with ready. my bow. Ooh. That's a 22. Nice. For my first arrow. Uh, that is a hit. <laughs> hit. Yeah. All right. Let's see. D6. That's six points of damage. Wait, 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 wait. What? It's only D6? 1D6 plus three. You're, it's a long bow or a short bow? Oh, that's my fist. I'm sorry. I'm looking at my it's fist. D8. You just threw your D8. fist across and the room? And it's 2D8. <laughs> it's 1D8. It is a plus one striking long bow. Yes. You said you didn't do that. You said you cast it. Oh, oh that's oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. I you shouldn't have done it. so much egg on your face. Forgot. God <laughs> damn it. That Philly public school system. 1D8. Eight points of damage. Nice. Oh, she don't plus. need no striking. Any plus or no? Nope. Oh. Um, all right. So the second one. Damn, I'm so mad. I forgot <laughs> that I didn't cast it. Woo. Um, math. It's 21. That's a hit as yes. well. Oh, yeah, it amazing is. Amazing, Zephyr. Bow, bow. <clears throat> One point of damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, does that interact move. action of opening the door adjacent to Lucky? Yes, does it does. Does that trigger her attack of opportunity? Uh, that is an interesting question. Hmm. I would say... It, no. It's a manipulate, isn't it? It is, but there was they a had wall cover they there. They, had, they, they were concealed when they, they did. Concealed so when they did. once yeah. I have a character with an attack of opportunity. You'll get it. It'll come. It'll, It'll come. come. If it was next to you and said, hey, let's go start a band, and they opened the door and said, let's go this way, you could have got it. So in that situation, when that happened. If they were yeah. trying to run away from you right, right, and right. open a door, yeah. you could yeah. All right. But they have to ask to start a band. Yeah. All right. It is my turn, since there were no other readied actions. Um... Second action is going to uh, step into the room and then is going to hit you with a very familiar looking staff Man. covered in vines and flowers and death. No. Oh, it was natural 20 and then it fucking fell to a two. That's yeah. what happened to me last episode. Oh. Same Goddamn thing. Oh. Norse Foundry. Thank you, Norse Foundry. Why you put the 20 and the 2 so close to each other? <laughs> I think it's a uniform choice. Um, all right, so that is unfortunately its whole turn. That is a really good question for our friends at Norse Foundry. Why like, are the numbers? Are, are, the way do the they numbers are? have to be in yes. the same order on every oh, dice company? I think company's so. Dice? On, the, on a regulated D20, yes. Who regulates it? Because Where's the D20 magic, commission? Magic also has a decahedron die, or a, 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 a what's the 20 sided? Polyhedron. Polyhedron die. No, but there's a 20-sided. Yeah, I forget anyway, what it's called. De they also uh, have a 20-sided die, but the decade. numbers are not the same on it. I'm looking at two Norse Foundry. They're identical. Yep. Yeah, I'm the D20 at, STL. There was a standard. I'm yep. looking as well. On, the, on a six-sided die, the opposite sides of the dice always add up to seven. Yeah. Mm. I true. know this because people who use the magic dies, you have to use the magic dies for magic. Like, you can't use, like, a TTRPG. Oh, D20 I think the opposite them. sides of a 20, they all add up to 21. So 20 and 1. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Yeah, I knew there was a method to the madness. If you're using unregulated dice, you will be kicked off this show. All right, it is uh, my turn again, unless you'd like to go, Mr. Delay, uh, over there. Yeah, old Delay Jones is going to step up to the plate here and oh, Delay Delay Jones. be pretty How beautiful these maps are. All right, uh, Brother Ramius is going to... Man, he's not a fighter, but... He doesn't like this we want to kill everybody in the world thing they have going on. Mm -hmm. uh, so praying okay. for forgiveness uh, of his use of violence against these guys, he's going to cast a divine lance at this oak steward. Yeah, and okay. presuming he has turned in his heart truly evil, he will uh, try to spear him with holy light. As you do that, I'll show you a picture of the person you're attacking. 
Oh. Oh. oh, that's the that's cucumber. He's like, he's like, get him. There's cucumber. Oh. Let's go, cucumber. He's got a cool leaf. And now mask. we see those masks. Yes. Yeah, yeah he loves. I don't, know, I don't know if cucumber is evil, so wait, I'm just wait, gonna wait. try to hit the man does and not have, the cumb. Does he have centaur legs? No, that's just Whoa. wooden. Whoa. It's that's the wooden bark armor. armor. That's oh. just you kind of freaked out for a second. That's there. your mind playing tricks on you. <laughs> or <laughs> is it? Or is it? We were, we were discussing centaurs. Cloven. Yeah, we were. I think I have centaurs on the brain. Uh, all right, that is a 23 to hit. Jaypers, rocks everybody, that's a hit. Rock solid, uh, and that is six points of holy damage. Pierces through him. Okay. And then he is going to uh, pray for Lucky to get guidance. Ooh, thank you. A plus one. A plus one to an attack roll, if you so choose. Okay, all right. Uh, it is now uh, the other oak steward's turn. Uh, I wanna act. You delayed as well. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> He's so angry. Yes, yeah, so all my guys will die. Uh, please, lucky away. I'm going. Uh, lucky, go lucky yourself. <laughs> Guidance. Guidance. I'm gonna double slice. Natural one. Uh, first attack with natural my one. Kopesh. It's natural not gonna one. be a natural one. Stop saying that. Stop it. Deviant backlash. Stop it. Ooh, natural seven though, so that's not great. Damn uh, it. Seventeen. 17. With the plus one. With the plus one. So, yeah, that is a hit. Oh! Yeah! Oh! 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 Huzzah! It Huzzah! Plus nine, Ooh. John. Becomes a plus 10. That's 11 points of damage. Ooh. And that poor sap is dead. Oh, yes! that is so oh, awesome! Oh, squishy babes. Oh, we are melting these druids. Oh, Damn, yeah. I still have my other slice. Don't forget cucumber. And cucumber. Yeah, cucumber. You see cucumber standing there right in front of the other uh, druid, just ready to pounce. That's what snakes do, they pounce. They, and cats they also, hate snakes. Yep. Oh. And snakes often stand. So they do. They do. I, He's smoking a pipe. I only use. <laughs> How many more attacks do you have? <laughs> That's that snake smoking? Oh, so, no, 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 to trouble you, madame. Uh, How many more attacks do you have? I'm so sorry to bother you in the middle of combat, but. <laughs> How many more attacks do you have? That's a really polite snake. Um, I've only attacked once, I've used one action. Okay. Can I ready an action, use my two other actions to ready, no? You double sliced. You double sliced. Oh, it's two actions. But I didn't use the second attack, doesn't matter. Um, fuck, damn it. I want to lead them into the room, it doesn't make sense. You could move just, out to the just snake. Just fall back, you can move. Yeah, fall back. You but, could also take your third attack, like your, technically your third attack against the snake if you want to hit the snake. No, I'll move back into the room. I'm gonna move back 10 feet um, to allow them to come in and I'm then going to attack. That's my okay. turn. Fair enough. Uh, it is going to be Cucumber's turn. Cucumber is going to double move uh, up to Lucky yes. and attempt to bite you with its fangs. Oh, I love the art on uh, oh, yeah, you Cucumber. See? It's really good. You want to see old Cukes? Yes. Check yeah. out Cukes. Oh, oh no. So yeah. imagine just slink, 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 slink. Ah, goes ah. to bite you. That's That's something snake. tells me you got poison coming. Cucumber. I hate snakes, Jock. I hate him. Uh, <laughs> all right, I feel like this is a good ball. roll. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't know your ACs off the top of my head. Nineteen. Yeah, that hits. Oh, sha pow pow. Let me get my D eight. Uh, the damage isn't the worst part of what old cucumber can do. Yeah, it is going to be just one point of piercing damage. However, I need you to roll a fortitude save. Okay. Oh man. Not a reflex, huh? No. <laughs> I'm really good at those. Unfortunately, no. No. Oh, natural 18 oh, plus phenomenal. seven. So that's a 25. Because you're just fine. Uh, yes. so Am I? You said that in a way that makes me think I'm not. That's what I do. Oh. Uh, that's his thing. That's my thing. Uh, okay. All right. Don't care for that. It is going to be the uh, other Oak Steward's turn. Uh, that sexy young gentleman is going to move. Oh man, this is brutal. It's going. He's to... not in the room. No, he's not in the room. Oh god, the cat, the cat escaped. She's killing us all. <laughs> it's ice cream. Oh That's nice. A free action. <laughs> <It's going laughs> <to yourself. laughs> That's good. That's really you know, good. it was such a bummer last week because you guys. <laughs> I mean, a bummer in the sense that like I had some cool stuff planned, but you really, I was rolling your deception checks. You all passed. You were close to failing, but with the bonuses, you just just made it. So I'm like just waiting for you guys to slip up. Obviously, I had flavored that the snake could smell you, but all of your role playing, it just kind of made sense. Like, all right, good luck. And they're thinking to themselves, good luck with the fucking gremlins in there. 
Uh, but I never even described that room to you. And so uh, that uh, that wooden staircase spiraled from the ground to a gazebo turned pillbox, 20 feet above the forest floor. The structure's windows are completely boarded up except for a few small murder holes. And so had you just rolled up on them, they start firing their crossbows on you immediately and they get greater cover from the murder holes. Ugh. So you were able to avoid all of that. So yes, you're still stuck in this encounter, but like they would have lit you up and it would have taken you rounds to get to the top while they're just firing on you. Wow. So, uh, really well played, and I'm glad that you could uh, do something cool like that. But let's see if they have anything left in the tank. They are going, oh, this guy is going to roll into the room with his first action. Uh, he doesn't have his crossbow out. He now has a, a staff that obviously has shillelagh, shillelagh cast on it. Um, I am torn here. I really... I really think I am going to uh, move deeper into the room here. I'm going to move deeper in the room right up to Buggles, uh, which would provoke if Buggles has an AOO. Wait, did you move by me or did you? Uh, no, I did not. But you will keep asking <laughs> every time a creature moves anywhere, <laughs> anywhere near you. Facility. You didn't move by me? No. I am going to... Forced? I'm going to. <laughs> you I'm gonna can't s- be forced. <laughs> I'm gonna There's s- a dead body. I thought maybe they had to step around it. Or- I'm going to swing my sweet ass uh, staff at Buggles. Dude, you're yeah. one crit away from permadeath. Okay, that is a miss. Oh you? my oh, yes. god. Oh, I mean, with shield, there's a 12 to hit. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. These guys. I know. All of Troy's rolls uh, over the last couple weeks are making us look like a strike team of superheroes. Yeah, I it's know. It's kind of fun. <laughs> it's nice feeling. Kind of fun. It's a really good feeling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you really feel like heroes. And this is the way it should feel the minute you uh, infiltrate a gnome fortress. Uh, all right, so I've, I've lost all track of what's going on here, but I believe it is Talitha's turn. Okay, Talitha is going to abandon her plan to make a quick tincture and is going to come back around the tree. Oops, sorry. Back okay. around the old oak tree. Back around the old oak tree. Seeing Buggles being menaced by this oak, stu- uh, this rogue or this rebel oak steward is going to uh, flank him with Buggles. Oh, there you go. Really set myself up for that, huh? And I'm going to devise a stratagem. Okay. Natural two. <sighs> so wow. I, I think you should use it. <laughs> I think I should use it too. Uh, so instead, uh, you know what? I will move further. Or no, I'll say flanked, and I will just you. Uh, I can. There's no use sense doing a recall knowledge on these guys. Yeah. We've already rolled it. You could aid Buggles. You that's could the best thing. I'm uh, not attempt gonna, a like a well, I was uh, about intimidation. I was, yeah. but I'll aid Buggles. Okay, these are you know the DCs are, are set at twenty. But tell me what you want to do, and we can see. What you can happens. also wait to see what Buggles does. Yeah, I can use it as my it's reaction. A reaction. Too, right? It's a reaction. It's a reaction. Okay, uh, great. All right, so you don't have to call that. You have to use an action to say you're preparing for it, but you don't have to say in advance what, what it you're is. What you're going to do, okay. Yeah. So it's situational. Top of round two, it is Buggles' turn. Okay. Uh, so Buggles, the stupefied, is gone. Like, his eyes are clear. Um, and he just, like, it just as himself, just, like, like summons a globe of fire, like, in his hand and just, boom, like, punches this guy with it. Oh, that's cool. In the kneecap. All right, so for my aid. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to roll a deception check. Okay. And I'm going to continue what I was saying from behind the oak tree. Like, just to perpetuate the story. Just that, to irritate Just to see if guy. you can, like, get in cat and just, like, distract him. I just, like, come up running. Oh, the cat escaped. The cop escaped. We're going to kill us all. All right. I'm going to set a DC 18. Okay. Ooh. Uh, oh, close. 13. Okay. How we do? I rolled a natural two, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. We did it by the rules. Uh, do you have any actions left? Uh, yeah. So with my third action, I'm again going to raise my uh, psychic shield. Okay. I love that psychic shield. All right, Zephyr. Um, question. Are you in your monastic stance? I am still in my monastic good, stance. Good. Yeah. Glad I asked. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Such a pain. Are you going to end the combat and start a new one? Yeah. Yeah. At that moment, the encounter ends. Everybody re-roll in this. Yeah, you know what? I don't like where my initiative is right now. Let's re-roll? just re-roll Let's just re-roll yeah. across the board. No rounds passed, though. She will yeah. lose her monastic yeah. stance, but uh, I think it'll is, be worth it. I'm still too close. <laughs> if I want to hit the snake, I'm within my volley for my longbow, so I'll have to move. I can't see the other person on the other side of the big log in the center of the room. Yeah, and um, the snake's going to get covered, too, because it's got a big target of lucky and yeah. It's going to get covered. Could even, could even be greater cover. Um, One could argue. 
one. I guess. Such as me. I want to start moving around the tree then. Okay. I want to double move around the tree. Tie a yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. Oh, I cannot go through the wall. I need to go around it mm -hmm. like this. Okay. Drag, drag. Okay. All right. Now I can see everything I want to see. Yep. Another door to the north, and you do see that spiral staircase leading up as you make your way around the tree. And from here... Um, does the snake have cover still? Uh, yes. Several instances of cover. Yeah, I, I would say that from there, it's not an impossible shot, but it's tricky. Now, if you move to there, I'm going to say, I think you're pretty clean there. Let me just do a quick measurement. 25. Um, technically, it'll get a plus two 25. to cover there. Because it does run through uh, Talitha and the Oak Stewards. Just Talitha, even. Plus two. All right. If you have one more spot of movement... You would it's be just okay. then I'd be within 30 feet and I'd get a negative for that anyway. Got you, okay. So I'm just going to do a dirty shot with my bow, which is what I'm going to call anything that's not buffed is a, is a dirty shot. Dirty okay. shot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I like it. Dirty, dirty shot. shot. Ooh, natural 19. Oh, there you go. Oh, dirty. So that's a plus two to the guy for cover, the snake. Uh, plus, all right, so yeah, what is... Said? Yeah, so that's it's, it. it's 24. Wait, 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 but well, the snake doesn't have it, cover now. It does. Oh, it it's does. just a plus two. It's just basic cover, but... Um, Still might be a crit. Yeah, 20, what is the total? 24. Not a crit, just missed it. Um, 1d8. 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 Three points of damage. Nice. Three sir. points of damage. On that snake. The snake is mad. Good. Okay. So you hit the poor viper cucumber. The viper. And now it is Brother Ramius' turn. Stop this madness! Uh, he calls into the air. Uh, he's going to come around the, the, the tree here. As this thing went after Buggles, he got very nervous for Buggles. Uh, and where is this dude? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can't see him, isn't that Six fun? So <laughs> you can oh, see wow. Talitha. Are you yelling out, where is he? Yeah. Right, right here. The, he's right to the right. Uh, all right, so yeah, I still don't see him, and I did a uh, move. All right, so I'll double move then. So he double moves around until he can see the guy. Okay. Follow, yeah, around to Zephyr. Yeah. And uh, he's just going to say, stop this madness. You are, there's no need to lose your life for this man, this Bo, Boel, what's his name, Bolan? Bolan. 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 For this Bolan, who won't even speak with you. We, we did not kill your friend. Your friend, Eric Mona is fine. She's out. <laughs> the, Corey Mona. Corey Mona, your friend Corey Mona is, <laughs> it's in the woods. We, we did not kill your friend. Well, we did kill that friend. <laughs> yeah, we did. Surrender. I don't know we, how you felt about that guy we killed, but the other guy, we didn't kill him. We've Surrender only killed three out of your, your four life. friends. Surrender, we will spare your life. So he's going to roll a diplomacy. Okay. Try to talk this guy down. Uh, 19. Yeah, um, that's that's not going not gonna to do it. He's, he's, he's seen too much bloodshed. You are everything he stands against right now. They will fight until killed. That's it. It's one of, yeah, that, that is that's his, his round. Okay, Lucky, talk to me. I hate snakes, and she's going to double slice this snake oh, into the ground. Poor little guy. I don't care. Poor little guy. <laughs> this snake is bad. The snake is bad. It is a Troy. bad snake. Hey, uh, caramba! That's eighteen. That's a hit. Yeah, Woo! kill the snake. Oh, that'll be dead. Kill the that'll snake. A beheaded snake. Come on, finish that's how you kill a snake. You gotta take the head off. Oh, uh, that's seven points of damage. Still up. All right. Oh, actually, no, it's dead. <laughs> hey. Seven, you said? Yeah, it's a dead snake. <laughs> You're like, uh, still up. I just see it go red. <laughs> oh, yeah, we just saw the skull nope. come up over the snake. It's very, very dead. <laughs> uh, cool. And uh, then uh, I did call my double strike, so that's two actions, but I'm going to move with my third action. Oh, these Yeah, are pin him in two. now. Yeah. You will get your AOO, or else he'll stay there. Yeah. Oh. He'll stay there and die. I, yeah. And I put my arms out, too. You're not going <laughs> anywhere. Yeah. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. Surrender, man. This is great. Surrender like Cory Mona did. absolutely no value to his own life. Yeah, no, he's he's made his choice. He's cast, Cucumber yeah. is dead. I'll sell it. He's cast his lot with Bolan. Um, Surrender. Bolan the wise. Uh, I'm gonna swing. I'm gonna swing my shillelagh. I'm just deciding who I want to swing it at. Uh, I think I'm gonna swing it at Lucky. You look like to be the most powerful. I think the best chance they have, this guy has, of surviving is to kill you and then back up and kill the rest. 
So let's do uh, three attacks with the shillelagh in this side. Oh, I'm going Get down. <laughs> we'll see. I haven't hit the broadside of a barn <laughs> in six episodes. It's the crits that get you. I know. Uh, here we go. Gets a little bonus. All right. That's probably going to be a hit with a 20. Yes. Okay. Well, this actually is going to be pretty good. I'm going down. I don't, One hit. I don't have that many hit points. Things. Brutal. Yeah. Many, well, what's your max HP? 20. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Way better You're than fine. Uh, You're not going to go down in one hit. No, but he's attacking me three times. Yeah, but now he's got the oh, map. We'll see. Once you go down, I may stop. We'll see. Uh, all right. <laughs> yeah. It may stop. Shillelagh's pretty nasty. Uh, all right, so that's going to be uh, nine, ten, 11 points of damage. Oh, shit. Dang. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, second attack is a lower chance to hit. Uh, so the total going to be that. Uh, 19. Yeah. Oh, nice. no. Uh, that was a tough one. All right, so and that now one. Now you may go actually go. Uh, that is... Uh, I'm going down. Uh, nine yeah, points I'm of damage. All right, so you go to exactly. dying one. <laughs> no, I had one already, oh, so yeah. I'm negative one, but yeah. All right. All right, so final attack. I'm going to go on Talitha here. Very, very low chance to hit, but a crit would be Brutes Magoots. Uh, natural 20. I no. wish that I was fibbing. No. I wish no, you don't. that I was fibbing. That is Love the it. No! planet die. die. You're totally screwed. You still and have to hit my AC. No, it's always it's automatically a hit. It is, yes. Is it automatically a crit if you don't hit my AC? I'm, I imagine I hit your AC. Uh, you tell me if a... Yes. it's a crit. Yeah, because it would be uh, a hit would turn into a crit. Yeah, if you're unless your AC is over twenty right now. So. Well, if he he could have a he could have a, uh, could have a penalty to his pretty to his significant base. map. Yeah, uh, yeah. and he do, and and they do. So oh, that's a good point. Uh, there is a significant uh, map here for the third attack, but it does get a bonus for Shalele. Uh, Seventeen. My AC exactly. Oh, <laughs> I got so good news and I got bad a, news. So it does turn into a crit. Yeah, it's it a crit. A crit. Oh. The good news is uh, it's a named character. The bad news is it's a named character. They're both bad news, but they were good news for me. And we'll find out what happens right after this break. See, Michael brings out his holy sword, places his heel upon the neck of the serpent. For now, the hour is struck. The trumpet has been sounded. The dead shall walk again. The serpent comes, but upon all of them he shall place the mark of the beast. named character for me to get a crit. His name is Manelimus. Little Manelimus. Uh, wow, I can't believe his plan actually worked. He's just wildly cornered, swinging away for his life, knocks the cat to dying one, and could potentially outright murder Talitha. What if I pull a decapitation Do crit? you have a bottle cap? I do not. Please. This could be it. I have a bottle We'll cap. see. Jordan from Detroit, Michigan may try to kill you, Matthew. Is that Jordan, the name? Your character. <laughs> you're, I mean, your Is character. that the name of the crit? Jordan. Jordan. <laughs> Jordan from Detroit, Michigan, we've got a bleeder here. Oh, no. Oh, that's terrible. Your blow severs a critical artery or vein in your target. Oh. Deal normal damage. Oh, that's, that's good. Huge. That's huge. Ooh. Deal normal damage and bleed X, where X is half your level. Okay. So it's just going to be bleed one. Okay, yeah. Right? And as long as it's like, as long as it doesn't put you down, you, you, you'll be okay, I think. If it puts you under, you go straight to dying two. Straight to dying two, and then that, even if it's one point of bleed, that's all that matters. Yeah, this is crazy. I rolled max damage. God. Oh my god. 
Okay, so it'll definitely put you to dying too. I would think it is uh, twenty points of damage. That would have been forty if oh it was double. Oh my god! Which uh, would have been that would have been massive damage. That would have yeah, been that massive been damage. Automatic. I, my max or my max or sixteen. <sighs> I'm regretting saying we're using massive damage rules <laughs> because this is now twice. This almost has almost happened to you. I think both no, times. Oh, it's almost happened to me. Zephyr, yes, like four points away. All right, so let's one. remember if Matthew's character Talitha goes down. It's Jordan from Detroit's fault. Yeah. Jordan right, from so Detroit. We're Jordan. coming for you. Jordan from Detroit. So you have bleed one. Bleed one, dying two. Bleed one, dying two. Okay. You do have a healer. Um, there are some chances here. There's but a lot of chances. Go to dying two. You're not going down without a fight, Matthew. Lucky is it dying one. Oh, but somebody's got to kill the Oak Steward. I mean, this is, this is insane. This is not. This went from completely under control. <laughs> yeah, we got this. To completely out of control. These are my favorite kinds of combats. Imagine if also like Lucky went down. That sucks. I'm at dying one. But if I didn't walk up and you and you just attacked Buggles and Talitha, I mean oh, that would have yeah. been worse. That would have been so much worse. Yeah, yeah. But this is oh man. Okay. So <laughs> everyone's gonna move in the initiative order. So first I'm going to uh, first bug. Uh, I'm gonna throw up, I'm so nervous here. I'm gonna move everybody in the initiative order, but in the meantime, it is Buggles' turn. Okay, so Buggles unleashes his psyche again. Pfft, aura of swirling frost, eyes pfft, glow blue. Con, get on, con. Uh, an amped oh, ray of frost. Oh, there he is. At this, nice. at this guy. Uh, that is a 19. 19 is a hit. Yes. Okay. Yes. This guy has right. not been hit yet. This is bad. Manelimus. Okay. Uh, nine points of frost damage. Okay. Uh, I get four points of temporary, I get four temporary hit points. Huge. As his energy is drawn into me. And then, um, you, Talitha, like, you, you hear, uh, you hear Buggles' voice, like, soothing you. He says, like, It'll all be all right, and you're you are healed for four hit for four hit points. <gasps> okay. Oh, shit. Wow. So you go to four and wounded still two. bleeding profusely. Maybe even hit like the neck, the fake neck wound. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was <laughs> real. That's real. <laughs> no, this is this is the thing that also as bothers me about second edition is that magical healing doesn't stop bleed, yeah. but yeah. barbering does. <laughs> <laughs> like a medicine check will do it, but magical healing. Yeah, I wonder if there's a feat. There might be a feat. Who knows? There, are, there, are, uh, maybe one hasn't been released yet where you can uh, you have magical healing uh, solve bleed. No, nope, I don't strange. believe so. It's not strange. It, it's game design. It's game design. It's, yeah. it's by design so that characters could ever die. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that sometimes a character could. Yeah, the persistent die. John would do that. All right. Yeah. So uh, was it persistent bleed? Like one d six persistent bleed? I mean, bleed it doesn't is, matter, right? Bleed is persistent. Yeah, but it's one d six, right? One. No, it's bleed one. one. Oh, it's just one. It's okay. bleed X, where X is half your level. I got you. I'm assuming they're not fourth level or right. higher. They were actually 16th level, oddly enough. Shit. But bleed eight. One. We'll call it one. Bleed eight. Uh, great. Oh, great. Is is it actually, great? it was 11 points of damage, not nine. Okay, so I'll take another two awesome. away there. Very good. And now it is Zephyr's turn. Shit. Um, so like, <laughs> she she's, want to hear that. <laughs> she's already she. been like taken down almost by these magical stabs. So she doesn't want to get all up in the business, but will take a penalty, of course, because she's so close with her longbow. But that's what I'm going to do. So I'm in monastic archer stance. Um, I want to do... Can I, if I do flurry of blows from here, does it take negative two because Talitha's in the way? Uh, it gets a, well, you know what? Talitha fell to the ground. Oh, right. So I would say that that does no longer provide right. cover. And so am I. Cool. So it's just the regular negative you were in two the way. for my volley. <laughs> um, all right. So flurry of blows. So here we I. go. You were nowhere near the combat. First attack. Oh, that's no. going to be an 11. You can feel it turning the other way. Yeah. The momentum is shifted. Come on. You're real bad. You, you got this. And, um, and wounded, too. If Talitha gets crit again, she permadeath. You got this. Second attack. Minus two. <laughs> you got this. It's 11. Six. It's 18. And then minus. <laughs> no. Is it 16? It's got to be an easier way. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hold we on. Cheat sheets. 18, 14. Two hits. It's, it's a miss. Miss. Yeah, what do you get? All right. Well, it's because. Are you talking about a cheat sheet for eight plus six? Like, come on. No. This is high stakes, and simple math is hard. Yeah. I back you up. Stop. Uh, stop. All right. So that was one action. Okay. This stinks. Um, <laughs> stinks. I want to, with my second action, I want to try and just go for it and use my key strike, which will give me a plus one status bonus, but it's going to be a negative eight to my attack, basically. Um, but if I hit, that'd be sweet. Would be sweet if you hit. Do it. All could right. roll a natural 20. I could. 120 chance. Nope. I miss, mm. of oh. course. I really don't want to get up in this guy's business because I will go down too, and then nothing will happen. Mm. Mm. Um, this guy's tough. So with my well, we know where Zephyr's last <laughs> action, if I don't stay up, okay. everyone does die. <laughs> Talitha. You know it's bad when Matt. Talitha. Talitha. Um, shit. So. I guess with my last action, is there any way I can like aid someone here? Um, um, I think. Do you need two actions to aid? Because it's like reading. I can't remember what one. Nope. One action. Okay. Uh, yeah, you could, and not even decide what that is until you gotta tell me who you want to aid. Um, let's see. You? Yeah. I'm Talitha's up, so I guess I want to prepare to aid Talitha in whatever she wants to do. Okay, you want to aid Talitha in one way. Yeah. Okay. Um, you should know that the way it's worded here, Joe, I think we, you, we were wrong. You must explain to the GM exactly how you're trying to help, and they determine whether you aid your ally. That's I guess the, the reaction. That's, that's the reaction. So that's when you actually on the reaction. Okay. We never played it like that before. We always said what we were doing before. But this is actually more fun in the sense that you get to, in the moment, decide how a you... A lot of times you are going to be able to say exactly what you're doing, yeah. but sometimes, you know, it's a little tricky. But the fact is that aid is a reaction. Yep. So it does not happen yeah. until... You're not wrong. You're not you know, wrong. For example, like if Lucky used tried to aid someone, she would forego any AOOs that she had because she would lose her reaction. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Right, right. Yeah, that's the key is remembering that it uses your reaction. All right. It now goes to Brother Ramius, and I'm interested to see what you do here because this guy is on the ropes. However, your allies are down. Yeah, it's a tricky situation. Uh, I think the most important thing that I can do here is give him... I need to give him two damage targets to go after, I think, and not just one. Oh, yeah, I don't know. This is tricky, because he'll have multiple attacks, and whoever he hits is going back down. Right, there's a good chance he goes to Buggles right now, um, or steps up to Zephyr. Uh, oh, man, this is tricky. Okay, so I'm just going to go with my gut, because there could be so many different things. So he is going to reach out and heal Lucky. So he's going to bring Lucky back up. Thank you. Uh, nice. All right. Here we go. Uh, ten. Ten points of healing. Amazing. Okay, so you're just wounded one, but you are also conscious laying on the ground. And that's and your... And then... Uh, whew, man. This is tough because he can't really go anywhere. Um... He will uh, attempt to aid Zephyr. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, because the initiative order changed, it is your turn, Lucky. Talk about high risk, high reward. You've been brought back to life. I imagine in the, the chaos of this moment, as this guy, like a frightened animal, cornered, is just fighting for his life, may not notice that you have woken up here. Uh -huh. But if you strike and she miss, rises. he sees you as a viable target. What do you do? What is the attack penalty from attacking from the ground? Uh, so prone, you can check it out. You should be able to check on your sheet, but it's minus two to all attack rolls. You're also flat-footed, and uh, there's a bunch of others. I think I need to stand up. Yeah, just add the prone thing. Uh, that would provoke, but you have not seen a, an attack of opportunity from these guys yet, unless they've been very sly in how they've used it. I'm going to, to grab my Kopesh, one action, stand up. <gasps> And he doesn't attack you. <laughs> Look at Kate. Kate really, is so tense. I was tense. How are you not dead right now? Instantly got sweaty. But yeah. you went, ah, oh, I it went, went oh. like the blood drained from them and they got sweaty. Eight episodes in. I wish, oh. But I'm worried that I'm not going to 
take him down. I only have one attack. I can only do one attack because I can't pick up both. You don't have to take him down, but you have to, to hit. hit him. Yeah. yeah. You have to hit him. Okay. Kopesh. Stop yelling, Joe. <laughs> Stop yelling. Kopesh attack. Yeah, now that you see Merry what the Christmas. massive damage situation is here, if you don't hit and kill him, he could kill you. He could kill you. Yeah. Well, she, I mean, she's like, like you said, like her fake wound is now a real wound and she is bleeding from her head and blood is coming out of her mouth and she just like swings this Kopesh, like barely able to see out of her right eye. Let's see. <gasps> oh no. 18. Oh. That is a hit. Yeah! Oh, what are you doing to me? I thought. I saw it. I thought you had a natural one. It was single digits. I thought it was a six, but it was a nine. She so. looked up like she was <laughs> going to say two, and she's like, 46. <laughs> 46 to You're like when Troy's on stage and he goes, ooh, 37 hit grades. <laughs> uh, fucking small, fucking. Pickle Watch your language. Penny. Sorry. Pickle Penny. Pickle Penny. <laughs> Pickle Penny. <laughs> Pickle Penny. I, Pickle Penny. <laughs> I tried to reel it back. Six. Still up. I know. <gasps> I know that. Did you? No! Double, did you double slice? <laughs> I can't double slice. No, no one it's action. Two actions. I had to pick, pick up my pick weapon. Up weapon. I know. It's stand. Oh, that's why I was going to attack from the ground, but it, I didn't want to get it. Uh, negative. She stood and delivered. You have one final chance here, as Talitha has also moved in the initiative order. Right. Talitha, you are you. bleeding. Talitha wakes up from this. Side. So she was like, she heard Buggle's voice in her head. It's like, <gasps> but she's still laying on the ground. From on the ground, she's not going to move a, a single muscle. <laughs> she's going to devise a stratagem. Yes, <laughs> let's see. I love this. This is the I best. I love this. What is the stratagem? I mean, are you looking for like the back of the Achilles heel? Yeah. Okay. All right. I imagine he's wearing open-toed shoes. Dude, this is what, right on the line? <laughs> it's right on the line. Oh, 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 man! Can I stand and pick up my weapon as I stand? As a part of a move action to stand up? No, we, she just did it as two actions. So you have to just... Well, we could retcon mine if you yeah. were benevolent. Yeah. Will, it's two johns. Manipulate, you draw, okay. stand. I do believe, I could be mistaken, but I do believe there is a feat or ability I, I, somewhere in some class that if you are knocked unconscious, you hold on to your lease, your wow. Yeah. Okay. Which is cool. There's also, I think, an item that keeps yeah, there's like it attached to your wrist. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I gotta get that. What does Zephyr do to aid me? Oh. I don't know if I see you doing anything. Oh. Oh. You see, Being so secretive. You see <laughs> You see Talitha's hand close around the hilt of her rapier. Um, I try to maybe, I feel, feel like I've seen you do this before, you're devising your stratagem, and I'm trying to like maybe whisper to you like, the Gailey's heel, it's in the back, it's in the back of his leg. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> good. Ten heel, in, it's the ten, ten ten inches part of his heel. From your other hand, whatever, <laughs> like I'm trying to give yeah. you. Yeah. Zephyr tells always, you. It's nice to play with a doctor. The exact <laughs> place I, to strike. I, well, for serious. If you're ever bleeding, it's a good seriously, thing. Seriously, I'm doctor. just trying to be like, 10 inches from that is uh, your like hand. Monk, the easiest maybe. strike to make. As yeah. a monk, you would know the spots. Too. The anatomy. That's, a yeah, pressure that's point. So true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. But you so. got to like roll the foot something. Is whatever. So, what would you roll you. here? Diplomacy? The foot is connected. <laughs> um, I feel like I could roll. Oh, a diplomacy check. <laughs> anatomy lore? I would say maybe like, would athletics be a thing here? I know it's strength, but it's like having the knowledge of athletics or something like that, or just like. Is that your high skill? No, acrobatics. <laughs> <laughs> she could have said acrobatics, but I'd like she to roll. Acrobats use their Achilles tendon all the time. All the time. Yeah. Um, intelligence, like general intelligence, or like I don't know if that makes sense. What for are some my other? Class. Do you have any lore skills? Stabling. <laughs> Stabling. Dude, horses Is this have guy Achilles a centaur? injuries. Yeah. How about society? Um, society is probably charisma. Or no, I'm trained in society for some reason. Um. <laughs> 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 the society of humans. You know what? I, athletics isn't right, but there's really no right answer here. So, and you can make the DC whatever you want. I feel like just make it harder. I'm gonna, for keep, I'm gonna keep it. At tw I'm gonna keep it at twenty. And being martial, it's I hard get enough. A bonus. What about medicine? Being a martial. Do you have medicine? N no, but like being a worse being stuff, a, Matthew. Hands-on martial. He said you can roll athletics. Yeah, yeah, you can roll athletics DC twenty to give. 20. You got this. Uh, you got to this. give her a plus two to her attack. Plus one. Plus one. Excuse me. Natural 16. Oh, there you go. Oh. 22 without the other bonus you mentioned. All right, this could be a plus one. Okay. So 23. So 
We're using my intelligence modifier. Which would be a, a, a cumulative minus one because you're attacking from prone. I have all that I have all that factored in. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, he's devising um, a strategy. Does he people at home? I have prone on him. my sheet. He's a fucking okay. liar. So all it'll playwrights be playwrights are liars. They make up everything. <laughs> We've the, never written a whole life fiction, fiction play. With the plus one, it's going to be a 17 to hit. Right on the line. We know an 18 hits. We don't know if 17 oh, hits. Yeah. I'm going to be sick. Let me check his AC. You don't know his AC? I do, but I'm doing this for effect. He's being... Put on my glass. <laughs> <laughs> my monocle. Your monocle? I need a GCN monocle. <laughs> Let me see here. His AC is 16. Oh! Just, just leave this. Okay. Here's the thing. How much damage? Last time you did a crit, you did four points of damage. Right, I know, yeah. but that was with my hand crossbow. Let's see what and you now, got. Now I got a strategic strike. And you got your rapier. So yep. strategic, strategic strike. So Letha wakes up. She only moves her eyes. She seeks out. She sees this guy standing there trying to like deal with buggles, and, like deal with all the craziness of the frost and the fire. And then she hears Zephyr go, the Achilles. Over the Achilles. She has her, her fist. Her fist is clenching on her rapier, and she just stabs him straight into the back of the leg. Oh. Amazing! Come on, dude. Nine points of damage. He's dead. Yes! 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 Oh you my God! Kill a you. bunch of bad <laughs> We are a team. I mean, my goodness! You killed two oak stewards, a viper, uh, two gremlin-like creatures, and another gremlin-like creature in back-to-back -back combats. You're standing here in this workshop that is completely dilapidated. There is a winding staircase leading further up, a door leading to the north, a door on the other bridge outside leading farther but to the west. Said, yeah, we can't go that way. Well, you're dead now. Now we'll go wherever we want. Seems like things are a little weird here. Yeah. Let's see what happens next week. Oh, oh, I don't want to stop. Oh, you're in. Oh, you you are going it. right now. Uh, that flew by. It really I did. It did. Flies by when you die. <laughs> <laughs> That's the, as the old saying goes.